What's up everybody, this is Lake King HD here. I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make this bullet that is sitting in front of your screen right now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to you want to go into your browser and you want to go to this to this site. I'll put it in my description. Um it'll bring you to this page. And what you want to do is you want to click download now. What it'll do is it'll bring up a page um and then it'll say download to It'll ask you to save the image to this file or whatever. So once you don't want, once you get into that file, what you want to do is you want to go back to here, go to File New, go to render, go to your render settings, go to Output, and change the change your um, your your render settings to what you want it to be. I put it at uh, 1280 by 720. Um, then you want to click the X. You want to go. You want to click on this in the upper right hand corner. There's a box next to four or uh, three other different uh, signs of rotation the zoom and the move you want to click that you want to go to front click click the same box again and after you would get here you click shift V and you'll see a whole bunch of tabs you want to click on the back tab and you want to click the three little dots that that follows the where it says image where it's light lit up you want to click the three little dots and you want to click the uh, bullet that you already had that you saved to your files. So I'm going to click that. It'll bring it up on your screen. And what you want to do is you want to in go into your rotation box and you want to click negative 90 degrees. It'll turn it 90 degrees. And you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to zoom in. It, it's going to look pixelated. So um, after you would do that, you go all the way down to the bottom of your bullet. Zoom in a bit more if you want go all the way down to the bottom of the bullet and you want to click the baser tool it's right next it's right next to this little this little squiggly line you want to call it. that's what I call it but uh, you want to click that and you want to start making dots so you're going to start right off in the middle and before we do it I'm going to make I, I'll make the first point and right here in the x axis you want to make this zero where the position is Okay, and then you want to want to go to every other turn, whatever you want to do. You want to make, you want to turn it. You'll see the line connecting them, and then you want to go. Oh, you want to go again, turn it. Okay, turn. Okay, and you'll get these little arms. So you, later on, after um, after the, after I get done, I'll show you how to how to move the arms so you can get them in the right position so you can fix them but mine's not going to be perfect so you can you just mess around with it um so anyways here we go we're going to go around this turn all right let's move that in a bit we can move it you can move it in and then we want to go all the way up the side of the bullet to about here oh what was that all right there we go and you want to go click right here make another click here you want to go up the bullet again on the side and you want to go around right here let's see if that came out straight or not no it did not okay so you want to click here there's a reason why arms all right all right sorry about that um so okay I uh, right back on the right track again all right what you want to do is you want to click here and it'll make a curve click right above it so you don't hit the thing move it over and then you want to go out yeah, unless you want to make a different bullet um, this is just for a sniper bullet it'll be as you can see here it's all a bit rounded off and everything what I'm gonna do is gonna make it sharp as possible it's gonna look like a sniper bullet so after you would get that point you want to go all the way up here and get about here and you want to stretch it out so it looks sharp as possible. Alright, once you get that, you want to make this point 
the same point that you're right here, you want to make that also zero. So after you would get that, you want to go all the way down, 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 down. And you want to straighten out these points. You want to straighten out these points so they so they match the they're all right, the uh curvature of the stuff. So you want to do is you want to every point that you made, you'll see black dots along the white line. So you want to click the the black dot and move and just grab the arms, just move it around the arms. Move it around so you so you can fit the light the uh the line where you want it. Click on the next one. Move it. Click on the oh, what was that? Oh, that's something else. Okay. Move that. All right. You probably don't have to move it much. You just want to make it to where it's along the lines of the bullet. So after you would get that, see as you can see, I went down here and I was right on the bullet and then it started going in. And so we're going to go all the way up here. We're going to click this and we're going to move it out a bit. And we're going to there we go. Right, we're going to move in the arms a bit. All right, and as you can see now, it's now it's starting to get along the the outline of the of the bullet. So now we're gonna go up here. We're gonna zoom in on this part. Gonna mark this, make this straight as possible. All right, and the bullet looks pretty good there. It's not, like I said, it's not going to be perfect for a tutorial, but you can mess with the arms around if you want to get it straight as possible. So we'll zoom back out. And as you can see, the bullet looks sharp, sharper. So what you're going to do now is you're going to want to press this this, uh, this green box, this green cube, and then you want to go to lath nerves. What you want to do there is you're going to go to, sp you're going to click on the spline, and you're going to, uh, hold down the left, the left, uh, left key, left uh, mouse button, and you want to, you want to go over the uh, the lath nerves where it'll, ha and then it'll have a down arrow. You want to then let go of it, and it'll make a outline of it, outline of the whole entire. And I'll zoom out for you guys. Outline of the whole entire. Oopsie, I was way too far. Outline of the whole entire bullet, as you had on there. All right. So what you want to do now is, what you're going to want to do now is you want to go to, you want to go click on the box again, and you're going to click perspective. You're going to go back to perspective, and you're going to click that box again. And as you can see, now you have a sniper bullet, and you can see how it's it's sharp edged, and everything you want it to. So now what you're going to do is you want to go, you're you're going to want to go to all right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to you're gonna click on the last. You're gonna you you can if you depending on what you want to do how you uh, want to organize it, it distracts you. Just click this minus button. It'll bring it up so you don't see it. Click the last nerves and you'll see that it'll highlight the whole entire thing. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna want to go to uh, subdivisions and you want to click where it says 24. You want to increase that to about 79. What it'll do then, it'll it'll make everything tighter together. Um, it'll make it a lot better. So after you would get that, you want to click uh, this uh, clickable object editable, and it's just a sphere with another sphere with arrows going down. It's right above the uh, right below the switch layout, and you want to click that. It'll make it all blue, as you can see. After you would do that go to after you would do that you want to go to click on this uh click on the the port again on the view and you want to go to the right viewport right here just click the box again and it'll go straight to the right viewport as soon as you would get there you want to click on the live selection tool which is right next to the move tool where i have highlighted now it'll my mouse is over it you want to click that after you would click that you want to go to the top. After you click that, you want to go to the top. Oh wait, before we do that, 
you want to, you see where it, you would see right here in the options after you click the live selection it'll say only select visible elements make sure it's unchecked you do not want it checked all right as soon as you get that unchecked and you have the live selection you want to click this uh this cube that is in a, it's the only one filled out of the four so you want to click that and all you have to do is you want to highlight all of this right here as you can see it just did like, like I did just now all you want to do is get the top because that's that'll be the main bullet so after you would do that you want to go to you want to go to selection set selection alright after you would do that you would go to alright after you would do that sorry uh, you would go to back to perspective so you hit the box you want to go perspective and you just want to click the box don't click the thing because I've noticed that when I try to do it before whenever I click on the box as you can see I'll go back and it just turns back to blue so what I'll go back and do it you want to go back to right if the, if you accidentally do that I'm just telling you now because that'll that'll happen and you'll be like oh what happened but this is what I, I found this out too so we're gonna do is you want to do the same thing that you did before go to selection set selection just click on the box do not click on the box itself because then it will highlight and take it away. Just click on the box again on the perspective view. As you can see, it will bring it back up. What you want to do then is you want to start making your textures. After you start making your textures, you want to just double click or you go to File, New Material. File, New Material. Right, and then you want to click here. Um, I'm, u I, I'm using the uh, this kind of silverish, blackish kind of, kind of color. And I'll put a reflection on it. Um, just after you, if you want, if you want to put a reflection on it, like I'm doing, all you do is you, uh, you click the color you want, go click on the reflection where the check mark is, go to texture, and it'll say Fresnel. You want to click Fresnel, and it'll change it to where it's reflected, and then you want to go to your material, your other material, and whatever color you want. Um, I'm going to use a kind of a yellowish color, and I'm not. I'm not going to put a reflection on this one. And what you want to do is you want to put this, drag it, drag the yellow on the tip of the bullet, and then drag the gray on the bottom of the bullet. Make sure when you before you do before you put these uh, materials on, um, or after you put the materials on, make sure the yellow one is after, is after the silver one. All right. And then what you after that, you should be done. It, then it comes out to be like this. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like me to do another tutorial on how to make this bullet move or do turns or, or shoot out of a sniper, just uh, message me or leave a comment below. Thank you and have a good day.